Not my small fault, that is. Sorry. Still to come this afternoon, Andy Crane and Violet Berlin with more news and reviews from the computer games world. But now here's a question. If you found an alien in your wardrobe, what would you do? Change your washing powder? Call your mum? Call Jeremy Beadle. It's Mike and Angelo! Need me. Oh, here we are. <laughs> oh, Rita King, professional confetti maker. Fogel and Dimpy. Language. Fogel and Dimpy. You must have heard of Fogel and Dimpy. Oh, yeah. They're the two dwarves that are allergic to Snow White. Vogel and Dimpy is the biggest advertising agency in town, for pity's sake, and they're looking for a... What is that? No, don't tell me. Aha! Uh -huh. The Angelo patent-pending plutonium-powered dustbuster. <laughs> oh, yes. Out sucks an elephant's trunk at a peanut party. <laughs> Just use the regular Hoover, huh? Uh, Hoover schmoover. Allow me to demonstrate the remarkable cleaning carpet qualities of Dirty Harry, Mark II. Heaven help us, no. <sighs> Crumbs. What are you... <sighs> Coffee stains. Angelo! Trust me, Rita, trust me. Soil. Oh, for goodness sake! <laughs> <It's> Angelo! <laughs> Ink. <laughs> Quite finished. Yeah. Oh, no. Dandruff! <laughs> Any jobs going in here for an alien exterminator? <laughs> You're probably thinking. Gee, nothing can shift that little lot. Well, be prepared for a miracle. I saw it coming, and like a dope, I sat here. <laughs> oh. Oh. I wonder if you'd like to sign my petition to keep litter off the streets. Only it's been so blooming bad here lately. Cool, blimey. We've got an epidemic of litter bugs in here. Oh, morning, Mr. Pinner. Hi, Mr. Pinner. We were just. I'll go get the dustpan and brush. And a bulldozer. <laughs> I don't know what went wrong. You flaming well moved in here for a start. Oh, give it here. I've got a mechanical mind. <laughs> oh, a damsel in distress. Two ticks, Mr. P. Oh, it's a flaming nut house. Angela! <laughs> what have you done with a dustpan and a brush? I threw them in the bin. <laughs> well, we don't need them anymore. Now we've got the Angelo... Angelo! The remember the little chat we had the other day? Yes. And what did I tell you? <laughs> well, that if I want to hang on to my friends, from now on when I take a bath, I gotta start using water. <laughs> the other little chat. The one about my sister coming this afternoon? And so will you stop doing these stupid <laughs> things? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> You don't want Patty to find you knee-deep in garbage because she'll think you're a bubblehead. <laughs> I remember. I'll be on my best behaviour. Mm -hmm. No, you won't. No, I won't. Because you won't be here. Oh, <laughs> really? I'll be there. I don't care. Oh! Just take a hike. Nothing personal, Angelo. Rita, give me another chance. I swear, no more funny business. <laughs>
the airport to meet you. Well, what do you want me to do? Tell the pilot to circle London till my kid sister crimped her hair? So I'm early. Oh, Patty. Rita. Oh, give me a hug. <laughs> Can we make that a handshake till you've been hosed down? Oh, no. Oh. Oh, it's great to see you. Look at you. Yeah. Look at you. Oh, well, it's been one of those days. <laughs> Come to think of it, every day is one of those days. Come on, sir. Can you manage those cases? Sure, no problem. It can't be. It isn't. It is. Get out of my face. Hi, huh. Auntie Rita. Oh, my gosh, Michael! It is you! Oh, look at you! You have grown! When did that happen? It happened after you ran off to England for five years. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Leave your cases there and come on through. Oh, what can I tell you? You look great. <laughs> Love the house, Rita. Who'd you buy it from? The Adams family? <laughs> <laughs> You were bringing Michael. I thought this was a business trip. Take a seat. There was a small hitch. Dad had to go to Alaska for his work. We tossed for who took Mike. I lost. Gee, thanks, Mom. <laughs> and I love you, too. You know what I mean, honey. I'm what you call a fabski. Say what? Fabski. Folks always busy. Son kind of ignored. Michael. <laughs> Great to uh -huh. see you, Michael. Oh, well, I could add what a neat again. surprise. It's great to see you too, Auntie Rita. Yes, it's so got? exciting for you coming to London, Why don't I staying in a fancy you hotel. Know. Are you kidding? Okay. I spent I'll, half my I'll life in tonight, hotels. The first now. words I learned to read was, please don't steal the towels. Still, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. there's so much to do here in London. You'll have a great that. time. Uh -huh. We'll have to do it fast, I'll because tomorrow we're in Hamburg. What? Mom's in every major city in Europe over the yes. next two months. Wow. Stockholm on the 15th. Yeah, sure, I can squeeze it in between Lisbon and Vienna. Uh-huh. Well, soon you'll be able to say <laughs> room know. service, send up a pizza I in know, seven languages. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> Sorry, Rita. We've got to fly. What? Something's come up. Here. I'm real sorry, Rita. I have a presentation to prepare in Swedish. Oh, well, say no more. And the, uh, the meal that I prepared specially for you. Freeze it. We'll have it in April on the way home. <laughs> this is just so typical. It'll give you time to get a wash. Come on, Michael. I really am sorry, sis. You know what this job's like. Patty, you are pushing yourself too hard. I can cope. I have to. My job is very important. Oh, what are you? Head of the UN? How do you sell yogurts? I do not sell yogurts. I am the European sales executive of a major American desserts company. In other words? She sells yogurts. Move it, wise guy. Call me. Hey, Patty, it's been great. Let's do it again. Only next time I'll come hover in your kitchen. Catch you later, sis. Oh, taxi! Bye, Teresa. Bye, Michael. Hey, hey, listen. If you ever need me... I know where you are. <laughs> Michael! See ya! Mrs. King! Mrs. King! Nobody here by that name! The next thing you know, there'll be a flaming rock festival in the middle of my herbaceous border. Great convoys of dolls crounging hippies frying veggie burgers all over the shop. Evening, campers! <laughs> Mrs. Pinner nearly jumped out of her surgical stockings when she looked out of the window and saw Looney Tunes here dancing round the campfire, singing Ging Gang Gooly. What I want to know is why did you have to pick my garden? Because it's there. Oh. I'm going to bed. Because you're here. Sleep rock thy brain. And never come mischance between us twain. Was that Shakespeare? No, it was Rita. Oh, that's just the sort of thing. You're round that twist, you are. What 
What is it with you, laddie? I mean, life's just a big joke as far as you're concerned. Why can't you try acting a bit more like me? Mm. <laughs> I dare say I could. Then do yourself a blooming favour and get on with it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Flaming natter! <laughs> So I came to see you. Oh, that's a sweet thought, but I'm on my way out. Runs in the family. Oh, I've got a job interview, but look, I'll be back in a couple of hours. I tell you what, stay here with Angelo. You'll love him. He's a whole heap of fun. Angelo, come on down. There's somebody here I want you to meet. Mm. Get you later, Michael. I hope you wiped your feet, my lad. Huh? Oh, look at the state of my floor. The youth of today. I don't know. Are you Angelo? Mr. Angelo to you, Sonny Jim. Here, and stand up straight and take your hands out of your pockets. Here. What's that in your mouth? Gum. Oh, right. There. Yeah. I'm confiscating this. Flaming chic. A couple of years in the armed forces would knock a bit of discipline into you, my lad. Are you Auntie Rita's heap of fun? Huh? <laughs> so you're Michael, are you? Right. Well, if I'm babysitting, you're going to blinking well behave and make yourself useful. Follow me. Come on. Hat, two, three, four. Hat, two, three. Don't die, me lad. Oh. Oh. String collections? <laughs> Some people throw away their old string, but not me. Oh, no. You never know when it might come in handy. <laughs> right. Now, once you've separated it and got out all the knots, I want it neatly categorised into domestic and garden. Domestic <laughs> includes thick and woolly and thin and waxed, while your garden's more, yeah. Uh, Green twine. Hmm. It'll take you more than mm, a couple of hours. Well, are you going to help me or not? Not. <laughs> That's just what I've come to expect from the youth of today. Oh, lip and pimples. Oh, I blame the parents. Mrs. King. Mrs. King. My gosh! Another one! Look at you! One of Angelo's groupy hooligans! Look at me! Look at me! He might have warned me he dug a flaming bear trap outside my back door. It's taken me half an hour to climb out. Angelo, where are you? Sheesh. I've got a bone to pick with you. <gasps> this place is a nut ass, don't you think? What the? Flaming nutters! Oh, oh! I suppose this is your idea of a joke, is it? Well, watch my lips. They're not laughing. <laughs> oh! Cool. I hope that hurt. That's what you get for taking a mick out of Cyril Pinner. <laughs> and look at the state of my trousers. Oh, don't worry, I can fix that, Mr P. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. Thanks to your mechanical mind, Mr P. <laughs> You keep that thing away from me. <laughs> you ought to be locked up, you maniac! <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, you sure had me fooled. Auntie Rita was right. You're okay. This could be fun. Fun? 
You want fun? <laughs> You've come to the right place! <laughs> a new job. Head copywriter at Fogel and Dimpy? You haven't. I have. You haven't? I have! No, I'm telling you, you haven't. Dimpy just phoned to say they'd made a mistake. What? <laughs> Only kidding. That's wonderful. Congratulations! <gasps> Where's Michael? <laughs> She's having fun, Rita. Hello. Oh. Michael? Are you all right? Oh. All right. Can I get back to you? Soon. Rita? Rita? Hey. Hey. Have you met Angelo? There you are. Michael Mason, I am furious with you. How dare you run off like that without telling anybody? You didn't tell your mom where you were going, Michael. Stay at the hotel, I said. What did I say? Stay at the hotel. I've been worried sick. Surprised you even noticed. What is that supposed to mean? Work it out. Hey, hey, hey. Break it up, you guys. I've had to miss a very important meeting because of this. It's not on, Michael. Now get that stupid thing off your head and let's get out of here. Look, Patty. I can handle this, thank you. Come on, move. But, Mom... I'm not arguing, Michael. Glad to hear it. What did you just... I bring you on the trip of a lifetime, and this is the thanks I get. I just don't understand you. No, Mom, you don't, do you? Um... Maybe if, if we all just sat down... I don't have time to sit down! Can you even begin to imagine the pressure I'm under at the moment? Daddy, calm down. I am calm. I'm calm and I'm coping. <laughs> You're steaming my beans, Bob. Butt out! <gasps> I'm not coping. I'm not coping at all. <gasps> Somebody tell me what to do. Hey. Hey, I'm the little sister, remember? I'm the one who fouls things up. You're the one who fixes things. Oh, I can't fix this. Hey, Mom, I'm sorry. Oh, it's not your fault, son. You think I don't feel guilty about leaving you alone most of the time? Lousy, that's how I feel. But what can I do? Excuse me. Not now, Angelo, please. Uh, no, no, no. He could always stay here. Huh? Mike, while you're in Europe working, he could stay here with us, couldn't he? Hey? Hey? Yeah, what about it, Mom? Huh? No, I really don't think that really... That's a great idea, Angelo. Yeah. You could concentrate on your work and know that Michael isn't lonely. I couldn't. It's crazy. It's perfect. <laughs> No, I really don't think so. Mom, I've had the best time here today. I don't know when I laugh so much. And best of all, I have a friend, right? Right. What do you say? Please. Mikey, is this what you really want? You couldn't have suggested this before I smashed my phone. <laughs> oh, I'm going to miss you. <laughs> They want to see Rita King? They shall see Rita King! No, Angelo! No, Angelo! Mr. Klugman, it's an honor. Oh, my hand! No oh, help! It's her! Bizarre, mm -hmm. surreal, mm -hmm. 
and peculiar. Mm -hmm. Just three of the adjectives used by this parrot to describe Mike and Angelo, which will be back at the same time, 4.20 on CITV next week. And if you've got anything peculiar going on in your house or somebody strange living in your wardrobe, then write and tell us. Uh, still to come this afternoon, uh, news of a new drama series starting tomorrow called Eye of the Storm. And Bad Influence is next.